Hey, good morning. It's a blessed new year to you. This is January 1st, 2022. Our first uh, video of the year. And Lord willing, there'll be more. But that's all up to him anyway. It's a gorgeous day here in uh, Western North Carolina, but the winds are starting to pick up ahead of God, directing them to bring cold weather back to this area. The weather is not random. It's all part of the purpose and plan of God. We don't always understand it, but we know that part is for sure. I want to talk about today, this New Year's Day, our focus on what is the basis of our hope. And it's the light of Christ revealed in this word that is the reason we have hope. This is what makes sense for us. Really enjoyed being with you last night when we had the live uh, stream welcoming in the new year. And uh, plan on doing more of that, so love your feedback on that. But I'm really looking forward to having more of these live streams with you. But what we focused on, hope, newness of life, getting a fresh start, all that, is not dependent upon a calendar turning a page. What it's dependent upon is the hope that we have in Christ, because he's the only one that can make us new. And that hope is available to us, not just on a special year, yearly basis when we make resolutions. That hope is available to us 24 seven, every moment of every day. That's why we're excited about trusting Christ. See, many of you today are dealing with some difficult times. If you live in Colorado, there's the devastating fires. There's the ravages of COVID, whom I know many of you have lost loved ones or have seen people become very sick by it. And yet this, this virus has become a source of discontent and anger in our country. But the hope is not being angry. The hope is us turning to God and recognizing that we can't do this life without his gift and care. That's the underlying message. Many of you are under the weight of relational hurt and stress, abuse, lack of care, feeling lostness, feeling very alone, trying to find your place. That hope is also the light of Christ. Again, let me look at what we looked at last night, just briefly. Paul encourages us that you were taught with regard to your former way of life, that life that has to do with the stuff of this world that its practices and conforming to its ideals and getting your value from what this world says is valuable. Paul says you were taught with your former way of life to put off your old self, that old vision of you, which is determined by the way people think of you, the way that the stuff you have, the way you're viewed, the way you look. Because you see, that's being corrupted by deceitful desires that make you think they're true. That's why they're deceitful, but they're not true. Christ is calling us not to live life on the basis of a lie. Rather, he says, put on to be made new, God is calling us to be made new in the attitude of our minds, to be rejuvenated, to have our minds transformed, and to put on your new self, created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. See, that's where hope is. The powerful death of Christ and the greater power that raised him from the dead is what gives you and me hope. That's why our renewal can be minute by minute instead of waiting for every year to make a resolution. Have hope in Christ. He is your light. He is your hope. And Lord willing, we'll see you on Monday morning. Again, so great to be with you. And Lord bless you. Christ, his life, the newness he gives us, that's our hope. Lord bless you, and we'll see you on Monday.